The quirky origins of famous company names. Hey there, science tellers. Ever wondered how some of the world's most famous companies got their names? Buckle up, because today, we are diving into the quirky, fun, and sometimes surprising stories behind the names of companies you know and love. Stick around to the end, and do not forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more fascinating stories from the world of science and beyond. Let us start with Apple. Why Apple? When Steve Jobs co-founded the company, he was following a fruitarian diet. After a visit to an apple farm, he decided that the name Apple was fun, spirited, and not intimidating. Simple, right? Now, how about Starbucks? Named after a character from the classic novel Moby Dick, the founders felt the name evoked the romance of the high seas and the seafaring tradition of early coffee traders. Moving on to eBay. Originally part of Echo Bay Technology Group, the founders wanted the domain Echo Bay. But it was taken. So, they shortened it to eBay, and the rest is history. Ever wondered why Pepsi is called Pepsi? It is named after the digestive enzyme pepsin. Yes, a soft drink named after an enzyme. The name Adidas comes from Adolf Adi Dossler, the founder. Combine his nickname and surname, and you have got Adidas. As for IKEA, it is an acronym of the founder Ingvar Komprod's initials and the initials of his farm and village, Elmterid and Agunnerid. Volkswagen translates to people's car in German. It was designed to be affordable and practical for the everyday person. Google is a play on the word Google, which is a one followed by 100 zeros, reflecting the company's mission to organize a seemingly infinite amount of information on the web. The name Coca-Cola? It comes from the coca leaves and cola nuts used in the original recipe. Vodafone is a mashup of voice, data, and telephone. Makes sense for a telecommunications giant, right? Ever heard of Sony? It comes from the Latin word sonus, meaning sound, and was chosen because it is easy to pronounce in many languages. And Skype? It is a blend of sky and peer-to-peer, -peer, highlighting its initial purpose of connecting people through peer-to-peer -peer technology. The ice cream brand Hagen Das was given a Danish-sounding name to honor Denmark's treatment of Jews during World War II. Yahoo stands for yet another hierarchically organized oracle or yet another hierarchical officious oracle. That is a mouthful. Nabisco? It is short for the National Biscuit Company. Lego is derived from the Danish phrase leg goat, meaning play well. Perfect for a toy company. Verizon combines Veritas, Truth in Latin, and Horizon, indicating a forward-looking company. WD-40? It stands for Water Displacement, 40th Formula. They got it right on the 40th try. Spotify got its name when co-founder Daniel Ek misheard a suggestion as Spotify during a brainstorming session. They liked the sound of it, and it stuck. Nokia was named after the location of its original wood pulp mill in Nokia, Finland. CVS stands for Consumer Value Stores. In 1996, CEO Tom Ryan redefined it to Customer, Value, Service. Kia is derived from Chinese characters meaning to rise or come up out of Asia. Fitting for a company on the rise. Audi comes from a translation of founder August Hirsch's name. Horsch means listen in German, and Audi is the Latin translation. Virgin Records was named because Richard Branson and his partner considered themselves virgins in business. BlackBerry got its name because the black keys on its keyboard resembled BlackBerry droplets. The name Reebok comes from the Afrikaans word Reebok, a type of antelope. The founder's grandson found the word in a dictionary he won in a race. Nintendo roughly translates to leave luck to heaven in Japanese. Adobe was named after Adobe Creek, which ran through the founder's property. Sharp Corporation was named after the Ever Sharp Mechanical Pencil, the company's first product. Sega is short for Service Games of Japan, as their first products were games for the US military. And there you have it, science tellers. The quirky stories behind some of the world's most famous company names. Which one surprised you the most? Let us know in the comments below. And do not forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more captivating stories from the world of science and beyond.